Hi guys, um, welcome to a new tutorial. Um, for this tutorial we want to recreate this kind of effect. So now I'm going to show you how I achieve that. So first of all you want to grab your type tool and write your text. With the selection tool then you can Press shift, click and drag to make it bigger. We want our text to be white. We then are going to open up our symbols panel and you can click and drag your text to make a new symbol. We rename it, press OK and then we can move this because we don't need it anymore. Grab the ellipse tool, make a circle. With the direct selection tool, or press the A, press A on your keyboard. Otherwise, it's, you can find it here. It's the white little arrow. Click on this anchor point and delete it. You're then going to go to Effect 3D Revolve. This will make a sphere. You're then going to go to Map Art, and here where it says Symbol, you're going to insert your new symbol, your text. You can move it around, make it bigger, smaller, or whatever you want. I want it right in the middle. You're then going to click this box, Invisible Geometry, which will make your sphere transparent but not your text. You can press OK. In this panel here, you can click and drag to change the view and the angle of your text. You can also do that by changing these numbers. When you're happy with where your text is, you can click OK. You can also Make this bigger, make this smaller, and drag it where you want. When you're happy with it, Command C to copy. And we're going to take it into Photoshop, where we already have our image imported. You're going to press Command V to paste. Click OK. Move it where you want it to be. Then you are going to rasterize your layer. Make another copy because we're going to do some destructive stuff. So you always want to have a backup. Grab your eraser tool or press E on your keyboard. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we are going to erase the part of the text that we want to have behind our image. So like this. You can also make your brush bigger or smaller by pressing Control and Option. So delete. All right. We're going to now make a new, you can delete this because we're happy with what we did. We can add a new layer. Grab your brush tool. Have the color set on black. And we're now going to make our shadows. I'm going to change brush. I'm going to use this one. Make it like this. Okay. 
we're going to lower the opacity. All right. Then this is our text layer. Double click on the text layer and go to outer glow to get this nice glow effect. You can play with the opacity of it and the size. You can increase and decrease the size. I'm going to go for something like this. Press OK when you're done. You're now going to right click Rasterize Layer Style. And you're going to go back with the eraser tool and delete the glow effect that it's created on the leg because we don't want that to be seen. Okay. All right, and that's it. We're done. This is the final result.